Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Most Bowling. 2K25 can't come out any sooner. 2K24 couldn't end any faster. We've been wanting it to end for so, so long. One of the main reasons was the auction house being taken out really killed the player base in a way that we haven't seen. We didn't think it would happen that way. But 2K controlling everything really hurt. So there's going to be a lot of different changes in this year's 2K. I'm actually really looking forward to understand that. This is our first real news. So let's go straight into the video and see what we learn. Woo, courtside. What's up, everyone, and welcome to another NBA 2K25 courtside report. I'm Thank Alexis you. Morgan. Hi, Alexis. Chris Manning. What's good, Chris? We are joined by Jonathan Smith, principal producer for NBA 2K25, New guy. my team. Welcome, I hope Jonathan. the volume's not too Alexis. I'm so excited to finally talk about my team. We're excited to finally know One auction of the first house. Exciting news that we heard is the auction house is returning. Thank you. The community was very clear. Obviously. They to see NBA 2K25's yes, my team. we were. It has returned. But what is new this year is that it's a more compact experience. Compact. All, all right. I'm going to actually start pausing on stuff. So it says the auction search active. All right. So we it can actually talk time. about things. So, yeah. So then there's the outcomes. It's all in one place. So you don't have to keep backing out to go into your outcomes, all that. It's all like sure. in the same feature. That's kind of cool. But all right. Let's kind of look at how the cards or the searches. I feel like I should mute. But here, I'll tell you what's owned. I'm sure there has to be a better way to search for stuff that's not owned and owned. All right, we see how the bidding works. All right, we're ready, man. Sounds good. What can players expect when they jump into my team? For what the should we expect? You select your starter kit and you'll no get one ever cares about this at all. In a starter kit. But we get new free agents, yeah. right? So you'll be able to pick two of the starter cards, right? Pick two of them, okay? So free agents never mattered. And you get a historic one. They're going to last a lot longer than the typical five games. Usually five games, they'll last longer. That's cool. After you finish Take your starter it. kit, you select your free agent cards. You'll be able to choose what kind of experience level you are. You can either go over to learn 2K. All right, so there's a uh, basketball, new to basketball. If you need any help, it'll teach you everything, automated tutorials. Then there's the second one, which will show you how to play as well. It's like you're new to NBA 2K. You're not new to basketball. You just need that tutorial. There's a new to my team. And then there's just show me what's new, skipping the tutorial. That's like the most people that watch this. But I love that they give you different options, right? Because maybe there's a lot of new people to my team and there's never really good tutorials. I hope the mic is good. I actually just got this. My wife just got me this for my anniversary. So I'm just trying it out, seeing how it works. So I could do more IRL content type vibes okay, possibly in the future. The basics, you can be new to my team and we'll show you everything right, there is to know. Skip, skip. We already know all this, right? right into a game We're ready. We're ready. All right, so this is the home menu. I just want to see off the top of the board everything up top so we see what's new. Then the home menu shows you your challenges, your seasons, your MT rep, your training hub, and your events. All that's on the left. So we look at how the challenges go. So there's ways to earn certain things. Obviously, little MT values, whatever you need. Lakers assist, for example, to complete that one. All right, I'm just trying to see how the menu. It looks new, which I'm excited about. Right, I, I'm tired of the same old stuff. For all of the live content that goes into my team. Also on the homepage, you'll see your progress in my team rep. Okay, so this is a brand new thing. My team rep. Okay, there's rep now, so you can like level yourself up type vibe, but like the same way like park and all that used to be. So you see that we all start at. I guess CL my player, right? That's the well, that's the guy's name. That's his PSN. I just see that at the top right, right? That's his PSN or Xbox. Yeah, it's PSN. It says the PlayStation. So these are people's names on the left. It shows you the top 10 reps. Okay, so those are all PSNs. I thought that was something else. So you're in the gold tier. You need to level up to Emerald. And then once you do that, there's no way once. Oh, so that's the Dark Matter tier, right? So when you reach that one, you'll get plus 10 cards in your auctions. Ooh. Ooh, so that's a really cool thing. Uh, they're going to obviously like talk about that, but you can increase your auction slot. So it used to be like 25, 50, whatever it was, it was 50. Now you can have more, right? You're going to get a bunch of Nike shoes, a Dark Matter ball, free premium pack weekly, every Hall of Fame badge pack, Dark Matter banner. So those banners are really sick too. We'll figure out why and all that. They got the GOAT JT. We'll talk about that stuff in a sec. Well, it's cool how the menu works. No one cares about the training, chips and tricks. So this is cool too, because you can practice plays. That's really cool. All right. And then the scrimmaging, um, it's we we've had like you just have to play like domination or little things like that. Now we can actually play like certain things to learn different things. Like if you're trying to become more comp, 
or just get better at the game. These are cool. I like that. I like that. I'm ready, dog. What events? Y'all don't give us events. All right, here we go. This is the play, baby. Play. So there's some new modes, baby. New modes. So we got Breakout. I'm glad I stopped on this because I'm still confused about this. So Escape from Breakout City and Single Player Triple Threat, Clutch Time, and Full Lineup Games. This is multiple game types, adjustable difficulty, single player. So there's a way I think you can make it not different game types. We'll talk about that in a sec. So the breakout is pretty much new. Showdown is new. Triple threat park is crazy where they're going to talk about that. So we'll get into that. And there's king of the court. Then there's salary cap. If you look at the more modes at the bottom left, it says there's salary cap, there's domination, exhibitions, and play with friends. All right, right let's there. get to it. They're going to talk. You got the pack market. I'm ready. Alright, so this is in the market, the pack market, the auction, the exchange. They said it's newish. Like there's new and coolish stuff in there. there Alright, well. we're ready. And there's locker codes. Yay! You better give us some. Y'all really don't. Let me click on this exchange real quick. So alright, so we see that they'll need like any whatever. This is either gold or jazz players. I feel like the jazz they always make it green. Then they want ruby players. And then this they'd want dom uh, diamond, but this is like just I just want to see how it kind of looks. It looks similar as of now, there but I'm well, sure it's and different. Of course you have locker codes. And then there's obviously get VC, obviously. Tab. This is where you're setting up your All right, this is exactly the same. The manage tab, the lineup management, the my collection, the edit players, two XP coins, and the MT shoe. Editing your players, making shoes with some new takeover boost cards. That's so the pretty sickest pretty part right there. We get takeover boost cards. Waiting to be able to you can custom your takeovers. Takeover you want and put it onto this player. I remember I made a video a long time ago explaining how like you had to focus on certain shoes to make your player get a certain takeover now the fact that like you can give anyone anything because at that point it was still you couldn't give anyone anything you still had to look at their attributes now giving anyone any takeover is going to be special what would you say the biggest upgrade is to my team in nba 2k20 i'm ready i can put up the volume of the triple threat four in the perfect location we're up in the rooftop in nba 2 this looks so sick bro i'm an old head when it comes to park i used to play park a lot like over 10 years ago type vibes like that was my mode until my team really took over my heart but like i remember we used to playing on park and this is just nostalgic Rivet City, 2K16. My park I used to cook in that game, bro. 2K16 Park, man. That Carmelo jumper was money. Park. We got all of the amazing parts of this court. We're up in the sky. The rooftop court's back. We have the glass walkways. And mm -hmm. most importantly to me, the chain nets are back. So for the first time, you're finally playing with NBA players in a park that's setting. That's fire. Yo, the, the content that's going to be made there, man, the content going to be lit. Park, we have two main game modes. One, team control, just like Triple Threat Online. You control CTO. all three players of your team. Control you're everybody. Against one other player. We also mm -hmm. have co-op. This is the traditional. Co-op. Six NBA Lit. players. You're controlling your one player and you're just trying to get Lit. that win. How do you get to Triple Threat Park? Well, there's two ways. You can either go through the city and walk right up to our building. I don't know what a city is, dog. I don't make players. I'm ready to play my team. Right from my team's menus. Okay, what are good. We playing for in Triple Threat Park. Triple Threat Park is a new place to take on the competition and win. We have a all about winning. Every day available for mm. one win, three wins in a row, or five wins in a row. What That's if it. All three of us want to play as NBA 2K25. That's it. Just top. five wins in a row. That's it. That's the reward every day. I mean, it'll make you want to play every day. Get Jason Tatum. So we do have a priority system for when you're playing on a co-op court. Whoever's got the highest rep. All right, so high. Oh, so all right. I like this. I like this right here. So what this looks like is. You're going to make your lineup. You're going to put your three players that you want. My first choice is I want to run this Mamma Jamma. I want to be Giannis. At the t All right, well, now we'll go off base with his choice. So AI is my first choice because I got the answer. I like to dribble. I like to cook, cook. You feel me? And then Luca's my second choice. Katie's my third. Now, my rep, I just started playing my team. So guess what? The guy that's already in Emerald tier, if he has AI as his first choice, guess what? He's going to be AI. Now, the other guy, he's, he's higher than all of us, but he has... Luca as his choice, so he's gonna be Luca. So he's AI, he's Luca, and I'm KD because I can't control that. You feel me? That type of vibes. That's kind of cool, man. So it gives you incentive to be a higher. I mean, if you're playing with your boys, I feel like it's cool because you guys are gonna know, like, yo, you can run this guy, I'm gonna run this guy. But when you're playing with randoms, given the guy with the higher rep, makes sense. It makes sense. It doesn't mean that you're the higher rep, that you're the better player. It just means you deserve it because you play more. I feel it. They will have the top priority. 
We also I have get a it. full My Team store. This is a one My spot. Team store. So this is Park Park. The Interesting. The best part is the showcase spot. The big billboard that everyone can see from anywhere in the park. Yo, nah, this is crazy. Look, look, listen. Control of it. You can open up So this is so 2K, man. They're going to let, like, look, this is a guy right here. He's a guy in the red jumper or a track suit, whatever. I don't know why I said jumper. I'm not Aussie. Um, but literally what's going on is this guy's opening pack. So everyone in the whole park can see what he's opening and what he's getting. Everyone will see what mm -hmm. you get. And if you pull a good card, fireworks erupt. Fireworks is crazy. This is, you know, you, there's like this scheme where you basically show people what other people get. Like that's why 2K added, like you see when you're at the bottom of the game, it'll say like, blah, 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 pull this guy. And you're like, yo, if he could pull that, I'm gonna go and try. Like, they're trying to get you to go pull and open. And people are going to show off, bro. I hope you can't just sit there and open, like, 20 boxes. Because there's some people with money to spend. They're going to sit there all day spinning. It is spectacular. It is one of my favorite things. It's cool. It's cool. Bring into it's a scam, but it's cool. I respect it. Breakout. Can you tell us about Breakout? Oh, I, I did the same thing. Not. Breakout is our new single player mode. This is oh, so this is just mode. offline. All right, it's just offline. Based mode. You start off in That's what we got. It, it said that, basically. It did say that. So this is like, all right, so prize points. You get prize. I just want to see what it looks like. It looks kind of like a Monopoly board. So we all start from the middle. All right, we start from the middle. You see the bottom. It, it says triple threat on certain places, and it says clutch. And you're trying to move your way around, right? And you're trying to get to the prizes. So you're only allowed three losses. It says that at the bottom right, where I'm probably covering, you're allowed three losses. Oh, let's get... All the prizes are on the. All right, yeah, we need to stop. So here, here, here we go. Here we go. I just like to look at what it says. So there's an objective. You're gonna play the all-time Timberwolves in triple threat pro difficulty. Make five field goals with any player and shoot at least a hundred with any player. So personally, I would hit one three with one player. And then I would make the rest of my shots with somebody else field goal so I don't have to worry about percentages. And we would finish that yeah, challenge by winning, and right? And basically, I don't know why I just like looking at challenges. I just like it's understanding player. everything. So make five field goals with any player. Get seven assists with any player. Easy. You're playing the uh, uh, Bulls on uh, the 2011 Bulls, all right, on pro difficulty. Every it's cool. Every breakout is different. You choose your path to... So you're choosing your path. If you want to go left, right, this way, there's a full lineup right there where you'd have to prevent getting three steals. You don't want them to get 10 rebounds, 10 post moves, whatever. So everyone's thing is kind of different. You're trying to get rewards. I like this. You're choosing everything from it's era, different, bro. Teams, all -time teams, and it's everything different. In between. You're different. choosing your game mode. All right, so yeah, here. So this is where you can pick either triple threat only, right? The other one said it would be all game modes. I don't know why I'm not stopping faster. All right, so this would include the 3v3, 5 5v5 and full lineups with short two minute halves. Two minute halves. 2K, you're the GOAT. You're the GOAT. Thank you so, so much. Imagine this was four minute quarters, five minute quarters. I don't mind playing the old game modes. Two minute, that's a four minute. That might be faster than five. It is faster than 5v5 clutch if you're not fouling and all that. Oh, that's amazing. I respect that. You're the Being GOAT. Game modes, triple threat, clutch time, full lineup games. That's fire. You start a run and breakout. You can choose to have that board Fire. be only triple threat and Fire. only clutch time games if you want. Fire. This is an ever evolving experience. Fire. What's is it? new for the competitive players in my We team? ready for competitive, right? Showdown! Showdown. It's the evolution this is unlimited. Since the yep, best it's unlimited. Since the here, the best mm, rewards are cook up. every week. All right, so this is the showdown deluxe. You pick one out of those two cards. I'm just looking at the weekly reward on the top left just to kind of have an understanding. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a season prize where like if you do everything you need to earn three wins to earn this prize And then if you see here, it says win one game to qualify for king of the court. Ooh, okay between three rewards. All right, so you can you can pick between reward. Oh, yeah, no, no, I understand that. I thought this was something so else. even though you're progressing by wins, right. losses. Yeah, they do count. They do matter but you'll never rank down a team never rank down season. cool this year you can change your offensive and defensive settings and you can customize your on-the-fly lineups. The leaderboard now only shows Tier 1 versus Tier 1 games. Nice. So truly, the best of the best will be featured in the showdown nice. leaderboard. Respect it. And the, only, the good thing about that is you, you can't boost anymore because it's saying you're only going to see the best of like against the best. Like only your top games count. Oh. Can't get a cut! Our new weekend competitive so this event. is like the limited of limiteds, right? It's the weekend thing. That's what they said happening now for five days. That doesn't make sense. 
the best of the best here for elite rewards each weekend so how's it a five day thing well whatever it says six days actually so elite rewards weekend event multiplayer all right so this is literally you have to qualify by playing one game of that showdown we just saw that or whatever but let's this is where the best of the best compete for the elite prizes in my team. elite it's prizes showdown all i want to say is it better really be elite prizes they really better do that man because i'm tired of limited cards being trash compared to the ones you buy but another level they actually did good this year i'll, I'll give them uh, that you're still competing with your best 13 player lineup that you can put together so if you're the best player in my team what do you earn well you get exclusive stuff things that you can only get from king of the court and being number one overall all right, so there's the top 50%, there's the top 10%, there's the top 1%, all right? Your current reward tier, I'm trying to see on the top left. So you get event points, king of the court event points. So this guy, Thunderbolt, is a beast. He's always number one, man. Thunderbolt go crazy. And look at the top overall finish. If you finish first, you get one mil VC. That can't be real. And king awards. All right, we got to see. So you're allowed to play until you get three losses. All right, it says that at the bottom left, you see you're allowed lost one, lost two, the third year eliminated. All right, that's a good thing to know. Just want to know. And also one million VC. Oh, you do get week. one million VC every week if you're number one. Crazy. And additionally, like I said, crazy. Before, park, your accomplishments in Showdown and King of the Court appear right there. Yeah, this is cool too, man. You get like little banners in the park. Hey, plus we're all going to be there playing triple threat. So that's elite. Your feet so you can show off to hey. everyone. You're the king. Hey, I'm the king. My team this year, Triple Threat Park. The auction house is back. New competitive modes and a new single player experience. We ready? The fans are excited for my we team. We are ready. There is so much to be excited for. So excited to take all the feedback we got over the past year and deliver my team Thank to you. 25 like this. Thank, Thank you, you so much, John, for joining us today. Thank you, Alexis. Alex. And we'll see all of you in our next NBA 2K25 courtside report. Sounds good. I'm mad. I saw. I, I met Alexis mad times. I never asked for a picture. That's on me. The auction house is back. Most important thing, baby. Triple Threat Park. We got it. We understand. Exploring it, whatever. I'm kind of excited, man. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This is probably the only bad thing they have. And, and some people are going to love it. But I think it's just like trying to wrap us all into going to open packs. That's all that is. Breakout sounds really cool for offline grinders. It's going to give you some more stuff playing different modes. So you're not just locked into one mode type vibe. And doing the same thing over and over again. Hopefully the rewards are good all throughout. I'm excited for all the modes, including Showdown, King of the Court. That triple threat's going to be extremely lit. I think we understand everything. I think we do. I don't think I could finish top, but I'm sure there's rewards for finishing somewhere else. I would love to see myself up here. I'm going to go crazy, try not to lose. It's going to be competitive. I hope they really do my team well this year. It's something we're all wishing for, hoping for. Make my team great again. 2K25. We all for it. I'm going to be all locked in. I'm going to be having a kid. Uh, coming right as soon as this game drops so bear with me in the beginning if i'm not that active at the start but hopefully everything gets good and gets well there's actually more stuff right in here i'll link this down below if anyone wants to see it i don't really care about card collecting i feel like they're always messing with that stuff man so i'm, I'm gonna believe it when i see it coach settings now can give you everything so you can adjust everything outside of the game so you don't have to do it inside i'll show you guys how to do all that once the game comes out i'll make really in-depth tutorials I don't know if I'll be able to stream because my thing is still messed up and I'm in Egypt, so it's really difficult, but videos should be coming regardless. I'm very locked in this year. I'm very ready. I'm excited. We're actually hitting 100,000 this year. We haven't hit 100K, even though I've been stuck around the 90 mark for the past two, three years, but we're definitely going to hit it. We're definitely going to hit it this year. I'm locked in. I'm excited. My team seems exciting for real, and I'm all for it, baby. I'm going to show you guys what's up. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. It's been your boy Most. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends that this is the one-stop shop for my team. And we all for it, baby. I'll see you guys later. It's been your boy Most. Y'all know the drill. And ball it out.